hello and welcome to another episode of Danke Rica, you guys. So today we are going to be making a healthy version of chicken parm and some naked pasta. So I hope you guys enjoy. Alright, so going over the ingredients you will be needing for this dish. We are obviously using chicken, which I have already marinated with our Flavor God Pizza seasoning. We're going to be using plain panko breadcrumbs, which we're going to be adding some everything Flavor God seasoning, some basil, we need cooking spray for the pan that we're going to put our chicken in, some classic marinara, I'm using prego, you guys could use whatever you like, and some six cheese Italian blend. That is for the chicken. And then for the pasta, we are using whole wheat spaghetti, which this brand is super awesome if you guys shop at Algae Simply uh, Nature. We're going to have naked pasta, so here I have some country crock plant butter that we're going to be using. Red pepper flakes, of course. We're going to be using Flavor Guards Garlic Lovers. Ooh. And we'll top it off with some feta cheese. I usually use Athenos feta. It's definitely a hundred times better than Frigo, but at Walmart, this is the brand they have. All right, so now that we know the ingredients, let's get started. All right, you guys, so here we have a little conga line. I already did one chicken. We're going to be doing an egg wash, the panko breadcrumbs, and then putting it in the pan that is going to be baked in. So... Here we go. Just dip it in the egg first. And it's okay if it doesn't get completely breaded. Me, I don't like things super breaded. Um, I like them lightly breaded. I really hate heavy breading, but that's just me. Um, you could do it however you like. And we'll get back to it as soon as it's done okay guys so the chicken is ready i have to do it in two separate pans because as you can see my chickens are super huge what i actually did yesterday was i uh, pounded them down with this i don't know it's a meat tenderizer i was gonna say i don't know what it's called it's a meat tenderizer in spanish mandate is what we call it um so i kind of just whacked it and i flattened it out Man, these are chicken breasts that I'm using. So I flattened that out and I seasoned them the day before. And then today we just did the breadcrumbs with the egg wash and they're in the pan. So we are going to put this in the oven for 375, 15 to 20 minutes. I'm gonna check it at 15 and we're gonna go from there. Um, after that, we're gonna go ahead, take them out, put the marinara, put the cheese, which I will show you. And then we're gonna pop them in again, but in broil this time for two to four. Uh, minutes so here we go all right y'all so as you can see well you can't see but as you can see the water has come to a boil so we're gonna put some oil in we're gonna put our seasoning because this is the time to season your pasta can always add a little bit later but mainly it's when the water is boiling we're gonna lower this and we're gonna add our pasta Now, I don't know about y'all, I like to break my pasta in half. You know what? I'm not going to break it in half. We're going to actually do this the way it should be done. Just stick them in there. But usually, sometimes, most of the time, I cut my pasta in half before I put it in. Because that thing of spinning the spoon, spinning and spinning and spinning and spinning, I ain't about that life. But 
for the sake of this video and the sake of y'all people or everybody is hot and they watch I will not <laughs> do that to the sacred pasta all right so that's that we're still waiting for our chicken it has six minutes left I put it on 20 we'll see how it's looking okay y'all so as you can see I took the chickens out of the oven um, they're still a little moist which is good because the last thing I want is dry chicken breast um, I gave I actually put it in for 25 not 20 because it was still a little bit of raw parts and I was a little bit you know scared of salmonella and all so <laughs> we're gonna go ahead and put the marinara now and these parts that you see that's just the seasoning it's not that it's overcooked that's just the pizza seasoning that we had put And I'm just putting a little bit to coat the chicken. I don't want it to be too um, wet because then my breadcrumbs is going to get soggy and I don't like that. So if you're going to reheat this, I suggest, like we are because I cook for the week, um, I would suggest you use a toaster oven to reheat it. That way it doesn't because in the microwave for sure you're gonna get soggy breadcrumbs where the marinara was and that's ain't nobody want that all right so everybody has marinara and now our cheese is gonna go in Pasta should be done too because I tried it and it had a little too much bite, so um, it should be done now as well. Check on it after I put these back. Alright, you guys, so remember it's going to be um, broiled for three to four minutes. And then, that's it. It's going to be done. So let's see how it comes out. All right, y'all. So I strained out the pasta. And I know of some people that like to put cold water in their pasta after they take it out. Please don't. That's just going to take out the flavor that you already put in it. Um, I understand that it does stop the cooking process, but don't do it. Just don't. So I went ahead and I added two about two tablespoons of butter snap based butter i'm gonna go ahead and add the garlic lovers a little more to our already finished pasta and of course if you like kick some red pepper flakes like we do if you don't don't worry about it probably even put some of this on our chicken so i'll leave that outside And then now you're just gonna stir that all up. I'm just gonna stir it. And our chicken is also done. It um, was on broil for about, I wanna say, four. Um, yeah, four minutes. They came out beautiful. So I will see you guys in a sec. All right, y'all, so this is what it looks like. Okay. One thing I did forget to mention, so I totally forgot. When you go to put the marinara on the cheese, flip it over. So as after you cook it on one side, you're going to flip it and then put the marinara and the cheese and then broil it. Because now what I have is like it's not crispy, super crispy on the bottom. It's only a little bit. It's a little actually uh, soggy, if you will. So do not make the same mistake I did. Flip it and then put the marinara and the cheese and then broil it. All right. 
okay you guys so remember that yeah because now this chicken is not super crispy on both sides which is kind of bothering me but whatever it is what it is so i'm gonna cut it right down the middle to see if it's cooked which is the most important part it's cooked beautifully it's super soft it's juicy so good sign so definitely 375 for 25 minutes and then you're going to take it out you're going to flip it <laughs> you're going to put the marinara you're going to put the cheese and you're going to broil it for four minutes so that's definitely going to be your best thing there and now the taste test so you know i always have to taste test got a little bit of chicken a little bit of my wheat pasta here here i go doing the twirl that i didn't want to do <laughs> That's some fire. And to think that it only has 40 milligrams of salt is crazy. Bananas, because it tastes super good. It has a lot of freaking um, flavor profile. The pasta is great. Naked pasta, if you don't like naked pasta, well, I guess you can add marinara. But we already had marinara on one thing. We don't want it on both. It's awesome, you guys. So I hope you guys enjoy and definitely think of me when you're eating it and make sure that little voice in your head tells you to flip it before you broil it so i can't wait to see you guys soon and cook for you guys again i'm really excited for the next recipe we're gonna be doing so see you guys then.